An all too familiar sight, one that has characterized the campaigning season in Nigeria. And as this period nears its climax, the stakeholders are on the move to maximize the limited time left. In Enugu State, Governor Ifan Yugwai is seeking a second term in office on the platform of the People's Democratic Party. Flanked by the Deputy Senate President Ike Kremadu, he takes his campaign message to the suburbs. This is 2019 we are going to deliver. We'll deliver on our promise and we'll keep our relationship with you solid. So let's be rest assured that in Enugu West they have nothing to worry about. Cross River State Governor Ben Ayade of the PDP is also running a second time. He's at the palace of the Obong of Calabar, who rallies support for him. If you are in Stone, and if you are from the Southern Senatorial District, withdraw yourselves back to the PDP. And let's move forward. Let's move forward. In Delta State, the governorship bid of Great Ogboru appears to have received a boost with the support of a faction of the party in the state, led by Olorogu Emero. The mainstream Delta APC, as it is known, has pledged to support all APC candidates in the state. It's a mass switch of allegiance, as these former PDP councillors from five local government areas are joining the APC in Kwara State. I'm announcing my defection along with these most handsome councillors of Kwara State. We are currently 15 in numbers, and I know in a matter of time, the number is going to, is, is going to blossom. Political parties are not the only stakeholders in Saturday's governorship and state assembly elections. The electoral umpire, INEC, is also in the mix, and members of the Congress of the Nigerian Political Parties in Kwara State have a message. INEC should correct all the observing inadequacies witnessed during the presidential and national assembly elections and must ensure that such indiscretions are not repeated during the governorship and state assembly elections. While that call is made in Kwara State, the Independent National Electoral Commission in Niger State says it is prepared to conduct elections on Saturday. All the sensitive materials required for that election, they are here in Niger. We have scrutinized them and we have found no shortages. We have proceeded to batch them, local government by local government. Saturday, March the 9th, is the day voters, INEC, political parties, observers, and other concerned parties look forward to for an exercise that should be free, fair, credible, and violence-free.